Hey everyone, welcome to yoga. I'm really glad that you made it to the mat today. All right, we're gonna be focusing on core today. Here's what I don't want you to do. Don't get all caught up in core. This is not about getting a flat tummy. This is not about a six pack. This is about getting strong in the center of our bodies. That's it. So I know we can have a lot of um, mental drama about this part of our bodies. Let's really try to let that go for this practice. Having strong abdominal muscles, super helpful for so many things in life, including reducing back pain. So that's really what we're focusing on. We're just wanting to get a little bit stronger. We're not needing to change our body in some dramatic way. This is about how can we love our body into being maybe a little bit stronger. That's it. Yeah? Okay. Now that we've got that cleared up, we're going to start down on our backs today. So go ahead and lie down on the back. You can have the knees bent if that feels good. Legs out straight if you prefer. Maybe those palms face up. Maybe you bring the arms out to the sides a little bit. Like you can take up some space here. Maybe the eyes close or just set the gaze softly in one spot. And breathe here. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And a long exhale out the mouth. Beautiful. As we go through today's practice, knowing that this is your yoga. So I'm going to suggest some things. If they work for you, great. If something else works better, great. Modify, adjust, never move to the point of pain. One more deep breath in right here. And then sigh it out, let it go. Well done, bend those knees up. And we're gonna come into a tabletop pose. So we've got this 90-90 situation with the legs. Press the low back down into the mat. So the palms can press into the mat here. And you can feel right away the core engagement, right, as you press that low back into the mat. The head can stay right flat on the mat. And just take a couple of breaths here. So acknowledging that feeling of core engagement without holding the breath. So you feel that strength in the abdominal muscles, but the breath is moving. If you want to make this more challenging, you can lift the head and shoulders up off the mat. Good. Now from here, we're going to extend that right leg. Maybe it stays high, maybe it comes low, and then bring it back. Good. Other side, that left leg extends. Maybe it stays high, maybe it goes low, and then bring it back. Good. So keep pressing the hands into the mat. As you bring one leg out, bring it back, other leg out. If you want to bring the hand up to the knee that is close, that's another option. Anytime you feel too much strain in the neck, you put the head down on the mat. So moving nice and slowly here, keep pressing the low back into the mat. Beautiful. One more time on each side. Nice. Come into that 90-90. Head comes down if it wasn't already. Bring the feet to the ground and breathe. 
You feel those abdominals working? Yeah. Let them release fully here. So take full breaths into the belly. Let the belly move. Good, deep breath in. And a long exhale. Excellent job. All right, rolling over onto one side now and coming over into a tabletop pose. So coming into your tabletop with the wrists underneath the shoulders to start and the knees underneath the hips, tops of the feet pressing into the mat. So you can press the mat away here and then engage those abdominals again. So it's kind of like you're, you're wrapping an ace bandage around your belly. That's how we sort of want it to feel, but you're keeping the breath smooth. So you can stay right here with that core engagement, or if you want, you can tuck the toes under and see what happens if you lift the knees off the mat, maybe just an inch or two. So that's gonna make it harder. Everything is gonna shake, that's okay. Keep the back of the neck long, the jaws relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, knees come down if they were lifted, hips back for child's pose and breathe. If it feels good to bend the elbows and stack the fists, you can rest the forehead that way or you can reach the arms forward. Good, breathe in. And as you breathe out, coming back to that tabletop pose, and this time hands are gonna move a little further away from the knees to set up a wider base. We're gonna come into downward facing dog. So tuck toes, hips up and back, as much bend in those knees as you would like. Maybe we're gonna walk out the dog, bending one knee and straightening the other. Getting a little bit of stretch down through the backs of the legs. Good, then hold that stillness in the downward facing dog. Back of the neck is long. You can shake the head yes and no to get some, any tension that might be in the neck. Get rid of that. Hips are high here. And then take a deep breath in. And come forward into a plank pose. So maybe those wrists are over the shoulders. And if this feels too intense, no worries. Drop the knees down. But hold here and breathe. If the knees are lifted, See what happens if you tap one knee gently towards the mat and then the other. Good, tap one knee and then the other. Nice, one more time, tap that knee and then the other. Beautiful, one more breath here. Good job, everyone comes back to downward facing dog and breathe. Nice, long breaths here. Slowing down that heartbeat. Relaxing through the jaw. Deep breath in. And exhale, shifting forward again to this high plank pose. But this time, drop down that left knee all the way to the mat and untuck the toes. We're gonna to come into a side plank so that right foot is going to come down onto the mat. And then maybe that left foot is gonna spin behind you like a kickstand. Right arm reaches up towards the sky. Beautiful job. Think about stacking one shoulder on top of the other. 
And then think about really lifting through this side body. That's going to get into the obliques there. Options here. This is a great place to stay. Something else you can play with is lifting that right foot. It's going to make it much more challenging. Or keep that right foot down and you can lengthen that left. That's also going to make it a lot more challenging. So find where you want to be. Take a deep breath in. See if you can lift the waist a little higher towards the sky. Well done. Bring everything down. Take those knees wide. Send hips back, child's pose. Smooth out the breath. If you'd like, you can bend out the elbows and circle those wrists a little bit. You know we're going to do that other side. Great job. Come on up. Get ready for that downward facing dog again. So maybe a little bit more of a wide base. Sending toes under, hips come up and back. Hips are high. Deep breath in. And exhale, coming forward, finding that high plank. Just taking a breath here, one long line, the top of the head all the way down to the heels. Breathe in. And drop that right knee down. Left foot comes to that mat. Maybe that right foot pivots behind you as left arm reaches up. Beautiful. So lots of options here. You can hover that top leg. You can stay right where you are. You can straighten that bottom leg coming in line with the other. So find what you need. It is absolutely fine to leave that knee down on the mat. Just keep lifting through the waist. That's really what we're working here. So don't, don't lose the focus in trying to get fancy, trying to get somewhere that's different than where you are. Take a deep breath. Excellent job. Come on down. Take those knees wide. Settle hips down and back. Child's pose. Breathe in. And let that go. Well done. Come on up. Finding that extended tabletop so those fingertips are moving a little further away from the knees. Downward facing dog. Good. From here, engage through the core and then walk those hands back towards the feet. So we usually walk those feet up towards the hands, do the opposite. So you'll come to a rag doll at the back of your mat. Nice bend in the knees here, maybe a little sway side to side with hands interlaced into opposite elbows. And then gently rolling all the way up to standing, finding that mountain pose, palms face forward and breathe. Just be here right now. Feel the way that the core is helping you even just stand here in this moment. Helping you to stand tall. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Well 
and then step to the top of your mat. We're going to come into a warrior one. So we're going to start with the feet planted, hip width apart, and parallel. Actually, let's just take a moment here. Let's not rush into this. Palms can face forward. And just breathe here if you want to set an intention. You want to take a moment of gratitude. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Good. Now let's come into our warrior. So that right foot is going to take a big step back and land on an ankle. If you're wanting to make this a little bit more challenging, you can come up on those back toes, lifting the heel. Absolutely your choice. Um, it's just going to make it a little more wobbly, which is going to be a little bit more work for the core, which may be what you want today, or you may be good with that heel down. Hips and shoulders square to the top of the mat. When you are ready, lift arms up. So bending into that front knee, relaxing the toes. Shoulders drop down away from the ears, but those arms are still reaching up. So you're just creating some space here. So these two opposing factors that we are embracing both of them. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, reach those arms forward as you draw that upper body forward and then reach the arms back, reach them behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades. Keep that upper body pitched forward as you reach those arms up again. Good. Reach those arms forward, reach them back. Nice, let's do that a few more times so you can feel the extra abdominal engagement here that's needed to keep you pitched forward a little bit. Good, move nice and slow through the arms, really reaching up as high as you can get. One more time back. One more time forward, reach up, stack those shoulders over the hips again. Release hands down to the waist, come up on the back toes if you're not up already. Stand up, tall palms face forward. Notice what you notice here. Maybe one hand to heart, one hand to belly. How's that heartbeat? How's that breath? Deep inhale. And let that go. Nice, let's do the other side. So that left leg is the one that's gonna take the big step back, either on that angle with the heel down or on the toes with the heel up, sinking down, reaching arms up here. So again, find that little bit of space between the shoulders and the ears while you're still reaching for the sky. Settle down in the hips. And then when you feel ready, when you feel really grounded through that low body, engage the abdominal muscles, find that pitch forward as you reach the arms forward and then reach them back. Good, so find your own timing here with the movement of the arms. And when you reach them back, really think about opening through the chest and squeezing the shoulder blades. So core is engaged, breath is smooth. Good, relax.
relax through that jaw. Be really cautious with the neck here. So just thinking one long line, one long extension of the spine. Good, next time you reach those arms up, stack shoulders over the hips, lift that heel if it was grounded, hands to hips, and then step up, maybe mountain, maybe hand to heart, hand to belly. Maybe close the eyes. Feel both the, the softness and the strength of those abdominal muscles. You're letting them be soft now. They don't need to be strong right now. They can just relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. Let's take a tree pose. So you can always come near a wall or anything you would like to hang on to for stability in tree pose. We're gonna start with the right knee, bending that out to the side so the heel can come to opposite ankle. Hands maybe start on the hips. If you would like to work that foot up the leg, great. If this feels good to you today, great. So find what works for you. Just don't put the foot right on the knee. Above the knee, below the knee is great. Hanging on to something for grounding is great. You can reach the arms up. You can draw them to the heart space, whatever you need. But really focus on this lift through the core here. Shoulders are dropped down. Slight bend in that standing knee. Feel this like zip up through the core to hold you stable. Stable may be wobbly. Stable may mean you fall out. That's okay. That's why we practice. Breathe in here. And exhale. Everything comes down. Let's switch sides. So that left knee, bringing it out to the side. Heel the ankle. Bringing the foot up, above the knee, below the knee, hanging onto something, reaching arms up, whatever you need. The tree may be very wobbly, but think about that, think about that trunk of a tree. Think about how stable it is even though there's wobbliness, even though it might fall. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, everything slowly comes down. Find your mountain pose, inhale. Now exhale. Awesome job. Sit on your bum on the mat. Feet are planted here. Knees pointing up towards the sky. We're going to bring the hands behind us. You can have the fingertips pointing away from you or pointing to the left and right edges of the mat, whatever you would like. Bring the feet in a little closer than you might think. We're going to lift the hips up. So it's kind of a reverse table. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Hips come up. So think about stretching out those abs here. You can keep the chin tucked if that feels good. You can let the head go back if that feels better. Squeeze the bum. Send the hips higher. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, everything comes down. Bring your feet sole to sole. Knees go wide. Gently send that heart forward. Good 
Breathe in. And breathe out. Come on back. Let those hands come to the outsides of the knees. Guide them in and lie down on your back. Knees come in to the chest. And then take the arms out like a T and gently draw the knees to the right and to the left. So there is definitely core engagement happening here if you keep this a more subtle movement, not bringing the knees all the way to the ground. But if you would like to let the knees land to one side and then the other to get a more complete feeling stretch, please feel free. Beautiful. Finishing up this twist here. And then as soon as you feel ready, find your way to your Shavasana, your resting pose. That can look like lying on your back, legs out, knees bent. You can lie on your side. You can sit up if that feels better. Whatever you need to get as comfortable as possible. Let the eyes close and deepen the breath. So pay attention. to this deep relaxation we're going to bring to the center of our body. Letting the core deeply relax. Some of us just suck our bellies in all the time. No need. Let the belly rest. Maybe bringing hands to belly if that feels good. And show a little gratitude to the belly. just enabled you to do what you have just done, whether you did the entire practice or if you did a tiny little bit of the practice, you did it. Allow that moment of joy and appreciation for what is in this moment. Not about doing it better next time. Changing reality. Whatever this practice looks like for you today, that is your practice. It's yours. It's a beautiful thing. Let the body be as heavy as possible on the mat. When we think about the belly, when we think about that part of our body, we often think that that's where our, our guts are, our, our, our passion, our intuition sometimes. That's what we're strengthening. And yeah, maybe a little bit so that our back doesn't hurt so much. But for me, this practice is mostly about how do I strengthen the core of who I am? And 
not about a six pack. Take a deep breath in. Oh, let it go. And taking a gentle stretch here, maybe guiding yourself up to a seated position. If you have the time to take a longer shavasana, please do so. But if you are ready to move on with your day, you can sit up tall, you can rest the hands in the lap or bring them to the heart space. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. It is always such an honor to lead you through. May you be well, be safe, be happy, be healthy, and live with peace. Namaste. I will see you next time. Come back soon.